the other accusation is you're abusing animals because you have taken uh, um, action, it seems, uh, to certain actions which you, which you have done uh, as a new thing, which is new. You, you've taken certain uh, steps which others have not done and they have pretty much gone with the flow, but you've gone against the tide and you've taken that. So there's a big blowback. Um, people are trying to say you're abusing animals, you're abusing elephants. What exactly is the story? I want to get into the share story, uh, but before that, what exactly, let's get an understanding, what is your response to that? Uh, yes. Uh, so here again, uh, what I see is uh, two sides, as you see. So the community, uh, who are the traditional, like the Sri Lankan, singular speaking community, they really appreciate this. And who are with the moderate mindset, they are appreciating this. So the so-called, uh, the Colombians or the liberals and actually um, this there is something called elephant mafia uh, yes. most of them doesn't know about this so elephant ma mafia is very big in the world and in Sri Lanka they're very active through certain organizations so they have actually abused the name of Pinavala so that they have even stopped foreigners from coming to Sri Lanka so as you said before we move on to that so the very first principle that they've forgotten is zoological gardens, our very first task is we are exhibiting animals, right? And we are earning money so that uh, in return we can take care of animals, right? So we are protecting them, we are feeding them and we are preserving them and we even uh, like help them uh, grow in their population if there are any animals uh, are that endangered. are endangered animals. So we uh, in internally we inbreed them and then sometimes we go and even release them to natural environment. We do research and development and everything. So is that this, happening here? It is happening big time. So the only thing uh, actually, uh, now this place as I said, this is a uh, center of a tourist attraction. So, so far, now when I stepped into the organization, there was no marketing team. Uh, there was no one who was managing PR. The goodwill of the organization has been tarnished and damaged and challenged and everything has been done. This is a national asset. We have spent about 150 billion rupees. Before that, tell me, for an for a, for a annual financial year, what's the budget? If let's take Pinnavala, what kind of a budget are you looking at in order to just to maintain the animals and give them the, the basic care that they deserve and need? Yeah, so uh, very good question. So the, our total recurrent expenditure for a year is about 600 million rupees recurrent expenditure. So you need 600 million to uh, operate the Pinnavala uh, of Nesh. All, all Where not, are you not only Pinnavala, so all, three. All, all four actually. Uh, so we need that much and out of which uh, only for animal feed we need about 460 million a year. Right. So that includes all the animals? All the animals. Uh, and uh, uh, who's giving you that 460 million? So we have to earn that money. The government is not giving that? Uh, so at the moment, government is giving because, you know, due to COVID, we had to close all our uh, uh, venues and our income was zero. So actually, even at the moment, uh, the government, uh, the treasury is giving us money in order to fulfill our even recurrent expenditure. So that is why I was trying to promote this place uh, because we wanted to become self-sustainable yeah. because this is a huge dependability because at the moment even the treasury is struggling yeah. to provide all the money. So that's why I promoted it and within two and a half months we, uh, we recorded highest incomes. So if you saw the news, um, Ridhyagama Safari Park ever since they started in 2015 recorded the highest income during the long weekend in January. So we were How reaching... Oh, uh, actually, all together, as I remember, all locations we had more than uh, ten million. More th all together, it was about fifteen million. So wait, uh, 
you are telling 10 million is a record making number whereas your expenditure is somewhere closer to 400 million a, a year and 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 uh, uh, you know even if we put 10 million a month uh, you're only getting 120 million uh, odd, odd, uh, in a year so this is this is a loss making uh, uh, organization so now there's something to be corrected yeah. so this 10 million was only for three days Oh, for three days? Three okay, days, okay, okay. right? So, so that's, that's actually why, good. Yeah, because I created so much awareness. I showed people, okay, these are the baby animals that we have in each location. So I gave them an opportunity, okay, you come and name an animal. So I showcased them. Which okay. is happening all around the world. Exactly. Which is happening right. all around the world. Which hasn't happened in Sri Lanka. Yes. And I did it for the first time so that this resistance is coming. Because actually, you know, uh, somebody once told me, uh, when you said Shamila Rajapaksha, the Director General of Zoological Gardens, I ex expected a lady, a uh, big maid lady with a Candian sari. So actually I met that person with my uh, t-shirt, the uh, Zoological Gardens t-shirt and a pair of jeans and a pair of sneakers. So they couldn't like digest. So this would be a director general of a government organization. So I think that is where the, these even Colombo liberals cannot digest that fact. Someone different has come and someone is do, trying to do the job in a different way.